Hey legends and welcome to the Wicked Train Podcast. I'm joined today with Talbot, how are you? I'm good mate, how are you? Yeah, not bad. Jake, how are you? I'm good, how are you? And Levi, how are you mate? Wonderful mate, how are you? Yeah, not bad. Welcome back to the first episode back. Uh, oh. One take wonders, welcome back to the first episode <laughs> of 2023. Um, full crew today, um, Australia dominating Test Summers and a lot more happening BBL wise. So let's get to it. Are Australia too good or the rest of the world not caught up? I reckon they have not caught up. Our bats, it's their top seven. Well, you look, one, two, three, four, five, and seven all made tons in the last five games. Green made a 50 not out of 170 of with a broken finger. Like, yeah, it's. I guess it was almost too easy for Australia with Green coming out, having the broken finger, mm. and still managing to put on 50. I guess, I mean, at the same time, it is one thing. It's not like a massive ordeal. You can still bat. Mm. It would be in some pain, but I feel like it didn't Get affect the magic his... spray out. What is 200 was good as well. I, felt I don't... I, I personally think Travis Head should have gotten player of the um, series against... South Africa. Yeah. Not Warner. I mean, not Warner, Warner only Warner had, had 213 one. runs the whole time, and that's across... Five innings and he made 201 of them, so he did quite crap otherwise. I personally don't like that call. I feel like good achievement on him. He could have got played the match, take it for that match. Yeah. Anything else, I would <laughs> say you go to any other batsman, most likely Head or Smith. Well, who made the most runs? Would have been I Head. think it was Smith. Was it? Yeah. Was it Uzi? No. Yeah, Kawhi batted well. No, oh, Uzi had a couple mm. worries, but I think Smith. Did Smith turn up once? Yes. Yeah, he turned up once. once. Let's look over. So he played. We started with the West Indies, so we've took it then. Rolled them. They are a young side, so we can give them a little bit of leeway there. They do have still some experience, but for me, it's South Africa. It's a big problem. They you gotta think, yeah, you gotta think they've been one of the top five teams for a lot of years. Personally, I reckon they're the best bowling attack in the world currently. Mm-hmm. That Yes, they did have a young batting side in terms of experience-wise. They were mostly above 30 but mm. none of them had, I don't think, a century to their name apart from Algar. Yeah. No, Algar but I think Bavuma has one in, mm. like, yeah. 90 innings. Um, Bavuma did step up for him. I they also good. don't Dean feel like Algar Rabada was, was fit enough. Like, yeah, Rabada Rabada didn't look bad. fit enough to play, like, all yeah. those innings back-to-back and bowling a lot of overs at a time as well. Yeah. He seems to not have passion, Rabada. Mm, he seems yeah. just didn't what? care. Mm. So if that was my be flat out. The other, the other bowler, uh, Norton, was Nor- good. Norkia Norkia probably was the pick of the players. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, and their keeper. Or Jansen, he The keeper was good. Devo- Devo- oh, you know, yeah. The keeper could bat. Like, he'd what, be about, right. what about that keeper on day one when Aussie... He was jumping everywhere. I'm going to give credit to Jansen, yeah, Jansen Norkia. Good. He's like and the, Varane, the keeper. Varane. And the keeper, yeah. Varane. Mm. Those three, the highlights from it. Bavuma was. Bavuma was all right. He wasn't anything special. Alga, is Alga it technique or is it mental? What are we I saying? Don't know. I don't Every every di- dismissal is down leg side. Down leg side ball. from a sh- yeah. I saw that. And oh, there's something that's read. He's had the lowest test average like across the innings. For the first time since like over here, since 1958, to some batter. Only other opening batsmen are average below 10. I and saw a stat, he's gotten worse stats while being captain. Is that taking a big toll on him or is that? Yes. Mm. Well, their leadership was mm. just pretty bad. Might just be too much responsibility for him. Who else was captain? Vuma? Like, he's, maybe. He, he was almost in the brink of the blinders. Like, yeah. opening the batting and captaining might be too much for him. Well, Babuma was the captain of the T20s. Yeah. But he did nothing then. Just a, I mean, yeah, I think it is hard to be keeper batsman. Uh, captain batsman, sorry. Yeah. I feel like it could go to, like, a Rabada or, like... No, he doesn't have the passion, Wes. No, what saying. he does normally. He just didn't, well, let's sit more like, more. in that series. Hmm. I, I think we'll have to. I think we're going to see a wave of... Bowler or all rounder mm. captains. You got to think we got Stokes from England. Yeah. 
it was at Root, but Root was not performing. Mm. And then it had to, had to change. And it's still not performing. And you see... Ailes, Ailes changed, Australia's changed because of a different thing. Yeah. That's completely different. But it's now worked on the Cummins. Mm. Yeah. Um, I don't think, it won't be long till Kane eventually. And I feel like Coley, he hasn't made a century, a test century since like 2019. He made one though. He made one. I don't know if it's a test, but he made one recently. ODI. ODI, sorry, yeah. Mm. Yeah, there's a couple of ODIs. Uh, he's been going all right. Pakistan, he's been, yeah. He's Pakistan been making runs. New Zealand. I'm surprised New Zealand actually won last night. Rolled Pakistan. I did not watch How that. good was that game, the draw? Did you see that? And then <clears> they um, had to cancel Paul the Bear play. Light. 15 yeah. runs off three is, overs or one wicket. I think that was a bad call. They could have just kept playing. Both teams wanted to win. That did um, impact Pour a lot of things. controversy over yeah. test cricket that it's ruining its own game. I mean, it happened, it happened in Australia as well. Um, don't know what day, day four maybe would have been this test. Mm, they yeah. did, after not playing two days because it rained out, they did. I was a bit upset because he didn't make the 200. They did have to cut the day short due to bad lighting. Is it a bit of whatever the umpire decides, decides or is just there. Chuck on the lights. Should we just rely on. If we're going to get the time done, just bowl spinners and. They could have just bowled spinners. Mm. I think both teams would have been happy enough to keep going on with Yeah. Them, I think it's probably more in the New Zealand Pakistan game where both teams can win. Mm. Yeah. But said you're playing out for draw because yeah. bad lighting. Um was it silly taking Matt Renshaw in? I don't know Sydney why he team? plays. No. I reckon we should have gone with Carey batting at six. I mean, Adidas seven, and then you get Lance Morris or Scott Bowling in for that third pace. I feel off. like Lance Morris deserved a spot. Yeah, but I think yeah. our game plan was we we're just trying to bat we should have for as long as possible. Renshaw to booger off and put in Morris. Yeah, I, I feel f- like feel my the only way I can it? see why they picked Renshaw is, is Usman and Warner are getting close to retiring. He could be mm. unlikely next yeah, test yeah, opener. Yeah, yeah. Sitting in the rain, poor bugger. He's oh. probably our next test opener. You probably feel bad for Harris. Yeah, he didn't even get named in the Indian squad. Playing three tests over two years, being in the squad each time. Yeah, yeah he's not named in India. Yeah, Was it worth it taking four spinners to India? You got Swepson, Lyon, Agar, Murphy. and Murphy. I don't rate yes. Swepson, to be honest. For development, yes. Yes. For playing, no. I don't see how Murphy... Who partners up with Nathan? I'm... Has to be Agar. Mm. I'm saying Agar. I mean, it depends what our game plan is. If we're just going to try and bat, like, a lot again, it'll be Agar. I feel like Mm. otherwise it could go to Swepson. Hoff was getting a bit of reverse swing in Sydney, though. I just want to touch on that. It was... It was bowling nicely. We'll stay on the Indian... Series, we did name an 18 man squad. What is our starting 11 starting from Talbot? Uh, I'll get mine up. So, one, I have Warner. I think that's pretty self explanatory. Two, Usman. Three, Marn. Four, uh, Steve Smith. Yep. I got five, Head. Six, Carey. Seven, Green. I got Cummins at eight. Uh, Nathan Lyon at nine, yep. Boland at ten, and Todd Murphy at eleven. Okay. Okay. I who's just your like Todd who's Murphy. Who's your twelfth man? Twelfth man. Oh, Hanscom, backup keeper, yep. and he can bat as well. Like it. Um, <clears throat> so I've got Warner and Uzi opening, Marnus at three, Smith at four, Head at five. Yeah, I, I don't reckon Stark will be playing, but I reckon we don't need. Cummins, mm. Hazewood and Stark all yeah. in one team. No way. And then, what am I up to? Six. Six, Cam Green, if he's fit. Seven, Carey. Eight, Agar. Nine, Cummins. Yeah. Ten, um, Lyon. Eleven, Hazelwood. Twelfth, Man, Murphy. Yep. I'd go with Warner, Uzi, Marn, Steve Smith, Travis Head, Cameron Green, Carey, Ashton Agar, Cummins, Lyon, Stark if he's fit. 
yep. with a variation of the left hand. You Top can man. have Cameron twelfth man or have <coughs> probably Todd Murphy, yeah. Or slips in one or the other. Um, you can have Travis yeah. Head bowling as a part time reliever and then that third pace option would be green. Then you've got the left right hand just on a bit of variation in the facade, you know. I'm not changing anything because I feel like the top seven mm. is just the same Perfect. thing. So yep. Uzi Warner opening, Mana three, Smithy mm. at four, Travis had a five. Travis. Green, if he does come up, he'll bat at six. Yep. If not, Kerry's batting six. There's mm. no yep. question about it. Yep. Kerry at seven. I've got an Agar at eight. Cummins, nine. Hazelwood, ten. Line, eleven. I... Don't know if I want to keep playing Hazelwood or if I want to go straight back to Stark, but I feel like you got to pick the two spinners in India. Mm. Um, Twelfth man, depending on what they want. If I want Scotty a Scotty bowler. If I want a bowler, I'm mm. probably I'm going to go Scotty or Stark. If I want a batsman, my backup would be Pete Hampton. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, it's depending on the game and what the pitch is doing. Right? Do we think Scott Boland's the luckiest bowler? In Australian history. No, well, when we went on day one, he kept getting edged for four and it's getting quite boring. I'm more speaking the fact he's a 32, 33-year-old playing shield, the whole thing. <laughs> Ashes was a bit of a whitewash down here. Mm. Um, home track hero gets picked in the squad, gets picked in the game. Six for seven. Takes a six fight against a low batting England side, which hasn't performed the entire series. Was that, is that just luck or is it just, I mean, probably right place, right time? Well, they wouldn't have seen him bowl before, like not much. It was a bit of a nobody back then, but <laughs> he does bowl good areas, like <clears throat> consistent bowler. Yeah, him and Hazelwood are a lot like the same. They're like, similar mm, line yeah. not, not very quick, line but they, they're going to hit the same spot every time. Line and length. A couple of years back though, like. If you saw him bowling in the big bash years ago, you would have thought, oh, this bloke's crap. Like, mm. He didn't look anything good. For but me, he's, our, he's probably our fourth mm. um, set bowler, so he doesn't get, he doesn't get a game in one books. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Actually, he's probably technically I'd the I'd like to see Jai Richardson in yeah. front of him. Sorry, yeah, I like Jai too. So yeah. do I. I reckon he, does a, he, he should be. I reckon by the time we're in England, he'll be in the eleven. He'll I feel definitely like he deserves be in the 18-man squad he'll take like to England. Lance Morris deserves a squad as well. He's yeah. Lance Morris and Jai Richardson are our future. Yeah, that'll be future Possibly balls. Nessa as well. I think it all depends on how many years left Star Cage and Cummings have. Yeah. Yeah. They've still got at least five, haven't they? Let's be real. Nah. Stark, I don't Stark know. Stark would have about three, I reckon. So with that, how early do you start... I think you've got to keep Lance in the squad for a couple of yeah, years. Yeah, 100%. If he, does, he can play the odd test here and mm-hmm. there, but he's just staying in the squad. Play the Prime Minister mm. 11. A lot of players develop with the squad, just playing in the squad, because, yeah. of course, you're bowling in the nets to Smith, Marn, yeah. Warner, Uzi, Head. Head. Um, so, I mean, he can develop. Great. I think probably after the next Ashes or next Ashes, get Richardson in the squad, develop mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then in... Three years, your opening bowl was your start bowl was well, Cummins, time, Lance, sh- and Richardson. Richardson, with hopefully Murphy or Swepson as the spinner, mm. Mm. and then you got a pretty good side. Who's our next batsman? Opening. I reckon Aaron Hardy is going to be like good. He's been hitting them well. He'll be really they put, good. He, him and um Ingl- English put on a good partnership the other night. Do you and then Moises and, um, who was it? Moises Silk. and Silk put on a do you reckon, as well. Do you reckon Philippe could break through and make the test squad? No, Carey's above he him. He hasn't been hitting runs this year, really. Care, care, no, Carey's not going anywhere. I he could come in as a bat. If mm. Carey, some, I mean, I don't know how, I don't know how old he is, probably around 30s. 26. Carey. 26, no, 26, maybe younger. 28. Carey. Yeah. I think he's a bat. He's almost 30. Yeah, yeah he'd be like he's 20. Still he's still got, so t- therefore he's still got six years six left. Six years, yeah. Have a look. There's probably going to be a younger keeper that comes up, but in my opinion, the next keeper will be whoever prioritizes test, test no, okay. over, 31? over Inglis or 
Philippi, and I'm saying it in English. Mm -hmm. He was in the PM's 11, Captain Capo. I thought Philippi was. Inglis is our next keeper. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yes, with Smith's come out says he might Fumatai as well. Yeah. Warner obviously Warner we know what he's done. Go. They say Warner came out and I like this from what he said. He doesn't want to leave Australia in a bad spot. As in, if him, Uzi, and Smith left at the same time, or within months of each other, mm. that's a big gap. Who goes first? Smith, Steve Smith will be the last out of the three. We all know that. Well, well, I reckon it's almost Warner goes first. I reckon. I reckon Uzi starts a couple of years. I reckon yeah, Uzi the way goes. Uzi's going, he's. Mm. I'm gonna be Warner, Smith, and an Uzi. Yeah, the really? time they That's what yeah. I reckon as well. Who will? Who's open the batting? Well, I reckon. Now this is it. This is everything goes right. Say Pekovsky comes out and he's guns blazing. Who's oh, our next? Pekovsky. Oh, Pekovsky and Renshaw. Oh, yeah, no, I don't. I don't know. Not, not Renshaw. Could you open with Travis Head? No. There was there was, there was talks of that. He what about used Alex to... Carey opening? No. Alex. That's no. a big jump. That it is. That big. is a massive jump from a kid that's never opened before, and he's thirty-one. So you got to think he's got five yeah. years left. If it's still going to be two, three years before, yeah, that's no point. I feel like no point. it could be Harris and Pukowski. Maybe. I do hope Harris does get it right. Yes. Yeah, there was talk of a yeah. kid. I don't know. I think it's. I think it's from SA. Henry Hunt. Oh, Henry yeah, Adelaide. Yeah, yeah. There He's, was talk he could be our next opener. He, yeah, Wasn't there another one? I don't... Yeah. There is another one. I can't remember. Oh, he made the ton on debut for WA. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. no, T. there was... T, T, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. Right. Yeah. He, he's, batting, he's batting four, though, so I feel like... <clears> there is a... If that, he would only play if Head was to open. There is yeah. a Victorian bloke as well who... Ash. Yeah, he opened and made, like, 100 on debut oh, as yeah, well. Oh, yeah, the... Um, oh. Ash, right. Chin... Uh, I don't know, I'm not going to bother trying to play no. that. He's he bats there. pretty bloody slow. They both do. He's a bit like the Jara. They, I don't, they are young. Do I you mean, give Bancroft another go at no. test cricket? No, nah, but he's 30. Oh. He's 30 something, 33 almost. Mm. I don't think you'll ever get it back. No. I think Australia going to start looking young. Yep. Mm, yeah, okay. sure. yep. I feel like with green in the side, you almost can't get hardy. No, because yeah. Hardy is really an all rounder. He has become more of a batsman, but yeah, he's been batting three in like big. He hasn't been in bowling, but I think that has been because of his injuries. But if he focuses on batting, he probably can find his way as a mm. batsman. But for now, as him being an all rounder, he can't make the team. I'm sorry. No, yeah. Not unless you play with like two pacemen. Like, two all rounders. Yeah, two pacemen, two all rounders. It's not gonna work. Yeah, the team team balance won't be good then. So it will be mm. interesting. Rest on well on the BBL. Zampa, Mancad. You were there, Talbot, weren't you? Yeah, I was there. Thoughts? I mean, I, I, I don't know. We talked about this in the last podcast. Yeah. I still don't know where I sit. Um, mm. I honestly almost didn't turn the TV off after it happened, yeah. even though I done it wrong. I left the game. But I feel like... I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Me and my dad hopped on an electric shooter. <laughs> <laughs> That's I feel I'm like bad. I feel like it's still half and half there. Um, Have we covered the last round of games of cricket in the ages in the UK? That was ages ago. Um, Shami, um, India. Oh yes. Bloke on 98. Mm. He did mancad. They withdrawn it. That's what's got me confused here. How can you now withdraw your appeal? Mm. What's the point going for it? It didn't go, no, I'm not going to peel for Who's it. Who's the coach of stars? Is it Dave Hussey? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I heard he him say he'd, the, he'd withdraw the appeal for it. Yeah, he said the, you know, if it the, was given out, we wouldn't If it was given out, like, we wouldn't have. Because he said that's not how we play cricket. Then what's the... Why Why bowls going for it if captains don't want him and coaches don't want him? See, Zamp is the captain. That's what I don't understand. Honestly. See, you see what Stark did on day four of that MCG test. How... Oh, mate, I forgot which batter it was. Was just wandering out of their crazy stopping. Said, mate, that's probably what you should do. Not just go straight up. Oh, hello, I'm Adam Zampa. I'm not take your wood. Yeah. I did post TikTok about it on our page. Yeah, I did see that. A few comments came in. I feel like the best one was give the batsman a short run. Yeah. There you are. What's you, that? 
you lose the run. You don't get that run. Oh. Mm. So if you want to leave early, short run. Mm. That, I actually like that. And then yeah, it takes that's... out the bowler's decision. Am I going to man cat him or am I going to leave him? Just give it a short run, batsman's yeah. fold, and then you're not having a fight over should we be doing it, should we not be doing it. Mm. That's yeah. my take. I mean, I feel like you can do it. You have to give them a warning first. Yeah, like, if, if you give them one or two warnings, they keep doing it, then they can cop it. I think the, the system has to be changed. Yeah. And if it is impacting the game, like if they are moving well out of their crease to get an extra run in, I feel like if you've already given them a warning and they're still doing it, I feel like you can. Your thoughts on the rule where a new batsman will come on strike if a catch or they get caught out. Do we think it should just mm. be how it was in the cross? Yeah. Or is it now stopping a batsman just going for the slog just because? I don't I feel know. like it, like, I don't feel like it's a rule that they had to change. Yeah. It's like, not one I of feel the, like it was yeah, it's not really important. fine how it's it was. It's a bit silly. I feel like with it, it stops, say, if it's the last ball of the over, the bike down the other end's on 80, and the bike on the striker's on 10, you're going towards the last over. <laughs> if the bike down here is just going on the slog, I see that it's fine. Mm. That makes sense. It stops then the strong batsman getting on easily. Yeah. But I still feel like it is a bit weird. Um, another rule that was introduced, uh, BBL timeout. Wait, what? What? Last year. Oh, two years yeah. Ago. yeah. Um, controversy came up, Stoinis walked at the bat. The rule is 75 seconds, you must be able to be ready to face the first bowl. Stoinis took it 100 and whatever seconds. Mm. Why, why is it not enforced strongly? And why is there only some batsmen? I'm pretty sure Adam Hose, strikers, came out and said he gets warned each time he comes to the bat and he had to change his whole routine. Is it an effective rule or is it just there to hurry the game up? Hurry the game up. But it's 75 seconds. 75 seconds. That seems a bit short. To be it honest. does. Like, by the time you walk out there, can't you feel You have to be ready to face the first ball, so therefore yeah. you're at the crease. Yeah. So once you're at the crease, you can count the fielders then, but once you're at the crease, if you're not there. Yeah. But how come, mm. with that rule, they can let Stoinis have 100 or 25 more seconds than other batsmen? Is that, I'm not going to say it's match fixing, but could it somehow be, or is it just umpires aren't actually worried about the rule? Not worried about it. Well, if you're an umpire giving someone out for that, You'd be like, it, I don't know, it's just like, it would sound, it would sound stupid, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know. Can we also speak about um, how the strikers chased down the highest BBL total? And Matt Short bringing it up with the ton. It was pretty incredible. I want to know the fact this has been the weirdest BBL season I've seen mm -hmm. in mm. years. Very. Mm. With um, the super coach. The lowest score ever in history. 10 for 15, Thunder Yume. The biggest chase down ever. Mm. Low, slow pitches. And just players not wanting to play BBL and going to other leagues. What's, why is there such an issue with BBL? I feel like, I feel like BBL is slowing down heaps. Yeah. Like, less fans are coming to the games. Didn't it kill the him, Majeev? The performances Majib. aren't as good as they used to be. No. You know, there's... No, it's just slowing down. I saw an old thing. You used to turn up to the PBL. Opening season, you'd watch Shane Warne play against Chris Gale. Yeah. Playing their two big names. Mm. This year, you turn up and you saw Sanger Bond, the Joe Clark. <laughs> now, Joe Clark's a bloke that doesn't really get a game in England in their squad. And saying it's just someone that's been playing BBL for that many years and it's not really mm. a star play either. So yeah. there's no more stars playing um, Big Bash cricket. I reckon it might get a bit bigger now that a few of those best players have come back to the squad. Mm. I don't... I, 
I feel Not the really. test players should stay away. Yeah, I do as well. Did yeah. you see Marnus last night? He was Lift shocking. The throat, just the throat. Everything. Oh. He was... What about Tim David um, on the run out? <laughs> Did you see? shouldn't have came back. BBL no. does need a change up. And yeah, I... Get Rakeem Cornwall there and I'll be at every game. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, Max Thompson's in the crowd. Actually, you found his stance. He actually takes wickets at test cricket. Yeah, I know. I could not believe it when I saw that. No, he, yeah, he's not a bad cricketer. Yeah. I think that, that concludes us today. Thank you all for joining us again. For Cheers, everyone. Good luck. This good luck this weekend as we are back playing in seniors. Who's are you playing seniors? Are you? Are yeah. you? Are you? What's, yeah, I am, actually. Well, it's going to be 38, so not looking forward to it. Oh, I'm going to... F- the hammy might be a bit tired or something, might not have to play. No, uh, Maddie's mm. probably going to melt. Being from England. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for well, last year. Headline. You guys enjoy what we're doing. Uh, looking for a big year this year, 2023. New things are coming. New lads. things are coming. Helmet cam, more game day vlogs, and maybe some merchandise if we get to it. Oh, yeah. But thank you all, and we'll see you for the rest of the year. So.